Hi, everybody. So today, what I wanted to talk to you about is dark colors. Oh, scary. <laughs> and the, the reason why I say that is because often when I suggest a dark color to clients, not always, but often, that's the kind of reaction that I get is I, I get this very fear-based reaction, which I find quite unfortunate. And also, uh, it's a reaction that is based on uh, color myths and uh, misconceptions about color. So I really want to help clear that up today. And this video is really about using dark colors in an interior space, not about an exterior. And just a little something before I go into this video is that there's this trend going on right now of painting things black. And it's, it's migrating from exteriors to interiors. And I'm just gonna say straight up, I'm not a fan. You know, sometimes black walls can be really stunning, but you've got to really do it right. And the truth is for me that what I find is that black paint just looks really harsh. It's great on clothing, love it in fabrics, but as a paint, it just tends to look really harsh. And if you are gonna get into those dark colors, into something dark, then to use a dark color, mmm, yummy. You're really getting into a lot of richness and depth. So not a fan of the black, paint it black phase. I don't know what's going on in the zeitgeist, but I really hope that it passes. So this video is really for people who are afraid of dark colors. And the main things are, will it make the space feel dark? That's one of the things that I get from clients. And honestly, I don't really know what that means. Will it make it feel too dark? What does that mean? And then the other reaction that I often get is, well, I don't want to feel like I'm living in a cave. So I don't want you to feel like you're living in a cave either. I mean, unless that's what you want. But, you know, it's my job to make, to make sure that your space looks as beautiful as possible. So if I'm recommending a dark color to you, there's probably a really good reason for it. So the questions are, does a dark color make a space feel smaller? Does it make it feel like some kind of dark, dingy cave? And also, can a dark color actually make a space feel brighter? And the answer is yes, it can. So, in the 30 second attention span that we now live in, I'm sorry, this video is longer than that. But again, if you stick around, you're gonna learn quite a bit, I think. And I hope that it really helps to change your mind about dark colors. So the way that I'm going to illustrate this to you today is through some before and after photos. People really love before and after photos. I personally don't care for them so much. I just think everybody makes purposely makes the before photo look really terrible. A anyway, uh, but I have some before and after photos. And I also have some kind of illustrations that I think will be really helpful to you in understanding the power of a dark color and what it can actually do in a space. So I'm going to share my screen with you and I'm going to show you a before photo. So this is actually my dining room. And this photo was taken many years ago when I first moved into this place. And all of the walls were painted, wait for it, masking tape beige with a whole lot of bright white trim really standard stuff, doesn't work for me, but maybe it works for some people, don't know. 
But what I want you to do is have a look at this photo for a moment and notice what happens with your eye. Where does your eye go? Is it kind of jumping around all over the place? Does the space feel kind of meh? Um, I'm ashamed to say that it does, although there are some interesting things in here. And But also, how are you feeling in your body? Just try and notice all of these things. So remembering that what happens is that the eye wants to go to the lightest thing. And, but our wall color and our trim color, there's not a lot of variation there. So that just all kinds of blends into one. Photographs are so revealing about a space. So what happens for me and my eye where it goes is that first of all, it goes to this, what I'm going to refer as rather unfortunate lighting fixture that was here when I moved in. And then it kind of does this battle between these actually really cute little built-in shelves. And then it kind of goes back and forth between that side of the room and this side of the room where there's the window, where there's a lot of light coming in. So my eye is being drawn to really not very interesting elements. The, the built-in shelves could be more interesting and you'll see in the after photo that they are. Now, of course, what happens is that your eye does go to the dark accents. I'm not saying that it doesn't and it will eventually get into this wall unit. And eventually your eye will move over to these very interesting hats. But to me, the space feels kind of disjointed. And just so you know, this room is about eight feet by eight feet. And I want you to notice that there's two chairs. Now I'm gonna show you the after photo. Just give me one sec. Open that up for you. the after photo. Now, my first question is, does the room look smaller? No, I really don't think so. In fact, what I find is happening is that I feel like the room has more depth. My eye is going deeper into the room. Does this room look cave-like and scary? No, I don't think so. And then the other thing I want you to notice is what's happening with your eye and how is it moving around the space? And what are you noticing? Because once you have that dark color in there, what happens is that the walls recede. So for me, what happens is that my eye kind of enters here. It takes in this window, comes around, takes in all of this stuff, takes in the hat, and the built-ins, which are now this beautiful robin's egg color. Just love that color. Yes, it takes in the light switch. I could paint it, just don't feel like it. But then it comes back around and it starts this whole loop again. So what happens is that now our eye is moving in this nice circle and within that circle, we are taking in everything, all of these beautiful objects that are living within that space. And because the walls are a darker color, what happens now is that the eye likes to go to the lightest thing. So it's traveling around through all of these beautiful light elements. And there's two things that I want to point out here. We now have four chairs, so there's a little bit more furniture than there was before. Yes, we, I have made design improvements, granted. So this space looks a lot nicer. But also the other thing is that this table now is larger than the other table. The original table probably came to about where that red line is. But not only do we have more furniture, some of the furniture is slightly bigger, 
But does the space feel smaller? No. Uh, the other thing that I want to point out to you are my baseboards. Have a look here. Notice that I have painted the baseboards the same color as the wall. And I've made another video about white baseboards and why I don't like them. So taking that color all the way down to the floor helps to make the space look larger. And it also greatly improves the look of the beige carpet, which I wish it didn't exist, but there's nothing that I can do about it. So let me show you the before and after side by side. Because I think you'll find this helpful. Again, does, does it look smaller in the after picture? No. In fact, looks like there's more depth. And you can tell that these photographs are taken from pretty much the same angle. So in fact, the room actually feels larger and it feels more interesting. And so I can tell you that um, the my apartment faces south, so I do get a lot of nice sunlight, but I also live in a rainforest. So we can get weeks and weeks on end of those really gray days when the color temperature doesn't change the whole day. It always looks like it's about 5.30 at night, no matter what time it is. And on those days, this the the room in that lighter color will just feel kind of murky whereas on those dark days what i still get is the experience of the rich color so it offers me depth and richness now what i've also done is i've made a couple of illustrations because let me stop now, I better not stop sharing. Sometimes when I stop sharing, it messes up my little tool. So let's think about, let's say you have a dark room. And let's say that this is an example of a room that doesn't get a lot of light. So it's just kind of gray. And then what I've done is I've just added some white elements. Let's say that this is a bookcase. Let's say this is a window. Let's say this is a sofa. And we've got some other white piece of furniture here. So what I want you to notice is that even though we have some white elements, everything kind of looks about the same. And so often what I hear from clients is this room is really dark so I want to paint it a really a white um, that has a lot of light reflective value because that will make it brighter. No it won't make it brighter because the whole point about light reflective value is that word reflective. If you don't have a lot of light coming in then painting it a lighter color or a bright white, maybe it'll help a little bit, but it's not really going to brighten up the space all that much. So have a look at this and notice that everything is just kind of same, same. Now, let's look at all of the same elements, but with a dark wall color. Now, the, the white uh, elements and the kind of beigey sofa thing, those are exactly the same colors as in the other illustration. But look at how much all of those light elements now really pop out of the surface, okay? So this is the thing to keep in mind, that if you have a dark space and you paint the walls a darker color, what happens is that the walls recede, and then if you put in a whole bunch of light furnishings and light elements, is that they really stand out now. Look at how bright those elements look compared to the way they looked with against that gray background. 
And so what you're doing when you do this is that you're, you're tricking the eye, which is tricking the brain, because then what, what's happening is that your eye is seeing, oh, this is really bright. This is really bright. Look at all of these bright things. So even though your walls are a dark color, if you put a lot of really light elements into that space, then you're creating a brightness. And let me show you a uh, side by side of that illustration. So I just kind of scrunched them up a bit. But have a look at that. Look at how when we get that dark color into the background, how much those light elements really take on such a brightness, okay? So this is really, really important to remember. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen because the, the challenge of a dark room is, and if you want it to be brighter, is not necessarily to paint it a light color. This is a place where actually a dark color, when used properly with other elements, can make the space feel brighter and even make the space feel larger. The, the thing about color is that there's actually not a lot of hard and fast rules and color it's, it's always about the relationships. It's about the relationships to the other colors, but it's also about the relationships that it's having to your furniture and other elements, art, objects, lamps, all of that kind of stuff. So if you have a dark room, and here's the other thing, this is so interesting to me, that I'll be working with someone who says, oh, this room is so dark, I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint it this really light color. And, and that will brighten it up. Mm, no. If you have a dark space, how about changing your light fixtures or adding some light? So if you have a room that's dark, how about painting the walls a dark color? How about putting in some light furnishings and, you know, like a light colored sofa and white bookcases, that kind of thing. And then how about a couple of lamps? <laughs> if you need more light, don't, don't expect a paint color to miraculously give you more light. That's really unfair. Get some lamps. And if you do put, put those light furnishings and a couple of lamps against dark colored walls, wow, that's all that you're going to see are those light elements and the, the dark wall colors will just recede. But not only will they recede, those dark colors can be, you know, when people move into the fear base around the dark colors, will it be too dark? Will it feel like a cave? I really ask you to reframe that and think instead about the, the depth and the richness that dark colors offer and how in a dark space, you will still see the color. It's not that it's just gonna look like a dark cave. And you know, what I really love about dark colors, I, I love putting dark colors, for instance, into a bedroom. I think they really look nice in a bedroom. And I just wanna say, I am not against light colors. That's not what this video is about. This video is about how to use a dark color properly to make a space feel larger, and brighter. So think about that and think about how the dark colors can also feel so comforting, especially in the evening. They really envelope you. Um, they're, they're very calming uh, and really, really lovely and offer a bit of um, a, a juxtaposition to if mostly what you have are light colors and light things everywhere. You know, I see this constantly on Instagram and Facebook, these places where everything is white, white, white everything, white everything. And there's no variation for the eye. The eye likes a little bit of variation. So I really want you to think about this and think about 
how dark colors when used properly can really alter a space and make it feel brighter and larger. So I really hope that that has helped you. And hey, if you like this video, you can like the video. You can do all those social media things like share it and subscribe, depending on where you're watching this. Uh, and please comment about it. So I really hope that this has helped you. And I really hope that um, you don't feel so afraid of dark colors anymore because they're really very lovely. Thanks a lot. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.